there are two things that funnel charts can do better than any other visual, and it's not actually what they're built for. So the first one is you can have lots and lots and lots of data categories and see them without scrolling, which is what you need to do with a bar chart. In fact, you can have up to a thousand of these. Number two is you can have multiple measures in the same visual without having to read across and see the colors and how they change. So these two things are not what funnel charts are built for, but they work with funnel charts and they don't work with any other built-in Power BI visual. So my name is David Benayim, and if you like this video, then I do weekly videos on Excel, Power BI, Zoom, Teams. So subscribe if you wanna see these kind of videos. And notice that in this chart, I have two countries. France is the red one, Cambodia is the black one. Uh, I have report page tooltips. I have a video on how to make these if you wanna know. But the point is that you can still pick out what you want to show based on this. So one use case that I have for it is the ability to just see so much data on one page of dashboard and the black one you can clearly see on all charts. So let's explore them. I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to add a funnel chart. It is one of the standard visuals, not a custom visual. So I'm going to first add country and then I'm going to add a measure, which is going to be the Gini in it, index. Uh, this is a kind of measure of rich versus poor people, etc. As you can see, I have a report page tooltip. So if you hover over it, you get that. If you want to learn how to build that, then I'll put a link in the description below and at the end of this video. So I really, really love these. And I think they're really, really visual and nice. Now, firstly, the darker it is, the more your eyes don't kind of work with this. As you can see, it looks like some of them are really dark, some of them are really light. Um, some of them have larger gaps between them, some of them have lighter ones. So my advice is make this as light as possible so that they all look identical. And then you want to add certain colors with conditional formatting. So if you click on this, I can choose a measure that I've built called Is Cambodia. And I'm going to add a middle color and make the maximum black. And there you go. So now it's super clear to see this is Cambodia, the black one, and the yellow one is France. So that is really, really nice. Uh, this is not what a funnel chart is supposed to be. And in fact, I can't really use any of these extra things because of that. But let's look at how it is if I do it not by country, but by continent. So let's have continent above country. It is still a hierarchy. So here we have our different continents and this is what it's supposed to show. So 100% is this and then it goes to the country with the lower Gini index, which is this one compared to that one. So uh, you can't do as many things as you can with other charts. For example, if I make that smaller, I can't have a minimum length here which is a shame because I really, really like using that feature. And if you sort of drill down, this still works inside South America. And now it is showing me the category labels up there as well, which is interesting. All right, so over here, um, we do have other things that we can do. Category labels, turn them on or off, data labels on or off. And these things are the conversions. I usually turn those off. I don't find them that useful. But let's look at this with the other context of how I might use it. And then I'll show you how to write the DAX to be able to do this. So the other unique thing that you can do with funnel charts, I'll just show you why it doesn't work in a bar chart, is compare different measures together. So let's say that I have different measures here. Here I have some vaccine data. So I have one dose. And then I have full fully vaccinated. Now, if I put it in this kind of bar chart, it does this, which is obviously not very useful because they don't mean anything if they're stacked together. They're both percentages. So you might say, well, what about this one? This is okay, but you can't have it in the axis. It's much nicer to do a funnel because here you can have it on the left and then show it like that as well. Uh, we could also have like other things like who was willing to take the vaccine and you do need to sort them yourself. 
So you can't use your sort order like you can here. You can, um, you can do your sort order for this chart and sometimes it will do it by country like that and you need to readjust to sort by what you want. Uh, but for this one, you do need to drag and drop them because they are all in the values bucket like this. You can also adjust in the data labels do you want to have any decimal places? Usually I hate decimal places, so I do no. And you can also have a different thing in the data label. So as well as the data value, you can have percentage of first or percentage of previous like this. And then you can have zero decimal places again. Um, or you can have the data value and the percent as well. But you probably want to explain to your audience what these mean because it's not completely clear. You also then need to change the title um, because it does just append them with a comma, which is usually not what you want. So you want to change this. Usually I do get rid of the conversion rate labels because conversion rate is really only for sales funnels usually. Um, so I would take them off because they are a bit confusing. Yeah, note that you can't make that smaller. You would have to rename the values here. So fully vaxxed, maybe I don't need a percent if I explain that in the title. And then willing to vax, that can probably be okay. There we go, one dosed. Yeah, nice. So that is how you do um, this one. So now how do we do this measure? So let's look at is Cambodia. This is the measure that I wrote before. I'm going to pop that into a card visual and it's showing me zero. Now there's two parts to it. You actually don't need the first bit. Um, so if I cut that, just to see what it looks like without. It still works in this visual, but the reason why I like it is because it kind of breaks other visuals. So without it, you're just saying switch. So switch is like an if thing. So we're saying essentially, there we go. So switch expression, which is uh, the column for country uh, using the values function to refer to the column. And then value number one is the country name. And then the result is two, then France, will return one and otherwise the last clause in and switch is always the else clause and that will return zero. So that's all it's saying. And then what I do before is I say, if has one value country, then return this. If there isn't one value, then return zero. So when you just dump it into a card, it will return zero because there's multiple countries selected. Whereas if I was to add a filter for country here to this visual, then if I was to select most countries, it would still be zero. But if I was to select Cambodia and deselect Australia, it would be two and France would be one. Notice that it comes out in black here because uh, there are multiple countries in this box. So you probably want to take it out of conditional formatting in this example or do a different type associated with it. Um, and just to look at it, I did look at what the maximum number of points is and it turns out it's a thousand. So if I go to 1002, it says too many values, not showing all data. But if I reduce this by one day and go to 999, then I don't see it like that. So it's able to work with up to a thousand data points and show them in a funnel chart without scrolling. You can even make this one as small as you need to, but obviously you'll be able to see a lot less like that than otherwise. Great. So I hope you enjoyed that video. My name is David Benheim and I have tons of videos on my channel about Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Teams, Power BI. So if you like this kind of stuff, then subscribe and I try to release weekly videos on this. Thanks for watching.